Not long now, Mon. Quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good. Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. You've got company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me. You two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. We took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? 
Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me in prison here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just give him time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There's much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son, eh? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. 